Hi, I'm John Gresh, Vice President of Lighting for Airy Inc. here in Burbank, California. I'm here today to tell you about two of our exciting new LED products, the Lowcaster and the Broadcaster. Both of these products are high output, yet very low power consumption, and are in a housing that only weighs two pounds. Now, the Lowcaster and the Broadcaster utilizes the same optical principles and the same housing. What truly makes these LED units unique is the shadow quality. It gives a single source, so you have only a single shadow. Most LED fixtures with the multiple LED points give multiple shadows and oftentimes chromatic aberration from the different colors of the LEDs. The area unit has a mixing chamber, so all of the colors mixed with inside the unit, giving a single source. Each unit consumes 35 watts of power and outputs about 550 candela. For the Lowcaster, Power can be turned on with the flick of a switch, and we've included the ability to manually adjust your dimming and color temperature with the onboard controllers. The low caster is adjustable to six color temperatures, from 2800 Kelvin all the way to 6500 Kelvin, with a color rendering index of 90. The low caster can be powered in many ways, one which is a simple power supply, which just merely plugs into the unit and then takes the AC straight from any household outlet. To use the optional battery power, just merely disconnect the power from your power supply, place the battery into the stirrup until it clicks as such, and then attach the cable from the battery to the power connector as such. To detach, just merely take off the plug from the unit, remove the battery by pulling the plunger, it's that simple. To check the status of the battery, merely push the indicator status button and watch the LED array until it gives you the condition of your battery. One advantage of the broadcaster is that we can take multiple units and assign them on a DMX console. In this particular example, we have taken four units and assigned them the same channel so they operate on channels one, which is your intensity, channel two, which is your color temperature from 2800 to 6500, and channel 3, which is your plus minus green adjustment. A barn door actually works quite well with the Lowcaster. Since the Erie Lowcaster has an internal mixing chamber with a single source for the light, you're able to cut the light and control it quite well with a barn door. And the barn door just merely slides right on the front of the fixture until it snaps into place and then adjust the leaves of the barn door as needed. The optional gel frame or filter frame must be used in conjunction with either a barn door or an intensifier as it slides in between the two pieces like such. The optional intensifier is quite a good accessory. It actually doubles the light output. Merely take the optional accessory intensifier, slide it onto the unit on the accessory flutes till it snaps into place, and add the two safety straps. Both the Lowcaster and Broadcaster may be oriented in either portrait or landscape mode. Just loosen the rear mounting knob and rotate the fixture 90 degrees. You can also mount the fixture with a baby pin adapter instead of the stirrup. The Lowcaster is also available in single and double head kits, as well as various hybrid kits, but more on that in another video. Please refer to the CAM series instruction manual for further safety instructions, which is included with every fixture and kit, as well as on the ARI website, or contact us for further information. And I thank you for joining us here today.